Hi, I'm Patty Habeck, President and CEO of Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin. Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin is the largest hunger relief organization in the state, serving more than 500,000 people in need across the region. A lot of consideration goes into the food that we have chosen to sort today. The food we selected for this particular volunteer event is a lot of grains. Grains are a very important staple item. It's something that we try to make sure we always have an inventory for the food pantries, meal programs, and emergency shelters to have access to. It is also something that is safe to pack off-site at an event like this. Since the first Feed the Body, Feed the Soul event in 2017, our friends at Oshkosh Corporation and our friends in community have helped us pack more than 500,000 pounds of staple food product that we've been able to provide to local pantries. Thank you, Oshkosh Corporation, all the additional sponsors, our friends and community, and each and every one of you. Without your kindness and generosity of spirit, we certainly couldn't get done what we need to do to make sure all of our friends and neighbors in the community are fed. It's truly an amazing event. It's something that absolutely does feed the soul. Hey everyone, Liz Wallenberg here from Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin, and I'm here today to walk you through the Feed the Body, Feed the Soul packing process. So what you're going to see here today is exactly what you're going to see at your table in the event space, so pay attention so you know what to do. First roll that we're going to talk about today is the giant scooper roll, and you are going to live with this five gallon pail. So what you're going to do with this five gallon pail is go to the giant totes of product Scoop your bucket full, bring it back to your table's tote, and make sure that your tote is filled for your table to continue packing. The one important thing to note with this bucket is that this bucket must never touch the floor. It's in direct contact with the product, so you wanna make sure that this stays clean. So your one job, keep your tote full, keep the bucket off the floor. Roll number two is going to be the product scooper. And so the product scooper, you need to make sure that your bags are labeled before you put the product in. It's very important so the bags look nice. So let's put our little label on the bag. It's going to have the ingredients and what type of product it is, nice and centered on your bag and you're ready to go. You're gonna hold your bag over your product so we're not making a big mess on the table. Take a nice big scoop and fill it up. Every product is going to have a different weight so please look on your table and double check the weight that's going in your bag. So once we get to a good weight here, we're going to put it on the scale to double check that we have the proper weight. Once you have it at the proper weight, you're going to pass your bag over to the sealers. The sealers job, you're gonna grab your bag here, squeeze out as much air as you possibly can, give it a nice little twist. Then you're going to use your fancy tape sealer here so you take the twisted part of the bag, run it through the tape sealer, and you get a beautiful red tape seal. In addition to that, we're going to add a twist tie so the families at home get to reuse the product. So go ahead and twist that on top, and you have your beautifully finished bag that you put in your box, and then you start over. 